What are these things? Well, this is an orangutan. It's a great ape native to Indonesia and Malaysia, but I'm not actually talking about the orangutan in general. I'm actually talking about these. These are called phalanges. They are wide cheek pads found only on mature males, and they can seem a little bit weird at first glance. And I'm here to tell you that you're kind of right, but it's because there's a bit of mystery to them. First off, these padded cheeks are just accumulations of fibrous fatty tissue and not much else. They develop right between the eyes and ears, which poses no real threat for their survival in the wild, but it can make it hard for them to see their blind spot. So let's go back to the beginning. Only mature male orangutans can develop these flaps. But here's a mature male. Here's another and another. These have what look to be the beginning of phalanges, but not quite like him. Oh, and these are laryngeal throat pouches that develop with the phalanges. So how and why do some mature males develop these flaps and throat sacs, while others don't? It's a bit complicated because on the one hand we do know how, but on the other we kinda don't. Let me show you what I mean. What we do know is that the key player in the development of both the flaps and the throat sac is testosterone. As male orangutans reach maturity, their systems are flooded with it, but not all of them receive the same increase. Those that receive a drastic increase in testosterone seem to be the ones that develop those wonderful phalanges and the throat sac by the time they reach adulthood, which is around 18 to 20 years old. It is those orangutans that receive lower amounts of testosterone that simply don't develop them at all. Now what we don't know is what exactly triggers some orangutans to release that drastic amount of testosterone. There are some theories, but they aren't really rock solid. There is no sign that genetics play too large a role in the inheritance of phalanges, and so we're forced to take a look at some environmental factors. First, the testosterone levels of male orangutans increase in response to reproductive competition. That is when there is more than one male and when mature females are present. It is those dominant males, that is, the higher ranking males on the social hierarchy, that express higher testosterone than lower ranking ones. Weirdly enough, the mere presence of phalanged dominant males can and often does suppress the maturation process of unphalanged orangutans. But what are these flaps even good for? There's an abundance of research suggesting that female orangutans prefer phalanged males, and likely not just because they have access to FM radio, but also because they have higher reproductive success. Also, the phalanges paired with the throat pouch act as amplifiers for their long calls. This allows them to communicate effectively over considerable distances. Like the majority of primates, communication is vital to how they live their lives, and they can express themselves in some interesting ways. So phalanges ultimately do three things. They grant males a clear and visible sign of their dominance, secures them access to females, and transforms them into little amplifiers in the process. The mystery surrounding such an important aspect of the orangutan is just one more thing that makes them oh so wonderful.